For one of the days of our time in this area, we decided to explore Old Town Bandon. We had to try Joe's Crab Shack, a place I had read about in several places of having a fun atmosphere and really tasty food. Janelle got the fish tacos, I got the crab cakes, and we both got the clam chowder. If I'm being honest, neither one of us was really impressed with the clam chowder, but we did love the crab cakes. So much so that we had to go back another day for more. Next up, we went to Cranberry Sweets Candy Factory. All right, Janelle's about to try this cheddar cheese fudge. Mmm, <laughs> cheddar cheese fudge. Just the kind of flavor of fudge that everybody needs to try. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Candy apple popcorn, caramel apple popcorn, peanut butter jelly popcorn, salted caramel cheesecake popcorn. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, we went to the Wash to Shore Gallery. Welcome to the Wash to Shore Gallery, where everything from the ocean is made into pieces of artwork. How sad is it though that all of these pieces of garbage, this is all garbage that was found in the ocean and on the beach. This is my favorite one over here. This is styrofoam. Yeah. Look how, I mean this artist is super creative with the, the garbage that they find. You can see in here that this is all still garbage. Like even inside. Individual pieces. Yeah, definitely garbage. Eh, that's not interesting. You pull out, and it's a really cool piece of art. Lydia and Steve are helping create these pieces of art. You're you're helping with the assembly process, right? Yeah, I feel these creations. <laughs> this is something that we did. Not do. <laughs> you did not do these. Lydia is currently making a tentacle or a splash for one of these pieces of artwork. So they're making jellyfish, little jellyfish out of all these tentacle things. They're going to make these tentacles. And we can make a lot of them because they're made out of water bottles. The center is a water bottle. And unfortunately, we always find them. Hmm. 
And then we use the bottoms for the domes. Oh, that's cool. See, I would never think of something like that. <laughs> Neither would I. That's, that's why I rely on our, our artistic teacher. They teach me how to do it. So is there just one artist or is it a team of artists? Uh, that's a good question. It's um, one lead artist that comes up with the design for everything and then she's um, supported by her artistic assistant and then she has a workshop instructor that teaches the volunteers how to do it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Fireball though, when she first started the project, instead of just making one sculpture, she made like four at one time. It just goes big and goes home. It's pretty amazing. How long does it take to make one of these sculptures? Um, six to nine months is usually what it takes, unless we have a oh, disaster. A lot of volunteer help and staff don't ruin the piece work. But last year, we were able to create, I think of it, we were able to create a bunch in a short amount of time to get an insane amount of volunteers helping us out. So this is Steve the Weedy Sea Dragon. This is Grace the Humpback Whale. She made it to the United Nations last year. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. And Steve's at the Shed Aquarium in Chicago right now. So you made all these four last year? Uh, and Greta. And we like to include... This one was 2016. So yeah, cool. those guys. That and is one awesome. Other whale tail. Like those are chiseled out like of toilet seats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this, wait, this is chiseled out of toilet seats? The bottom is PVC pipe, but the top teeth Oh, are, um, toilet seats. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You found those on the beach? Oh yeah, Nora has one. Nora has a toilet seat on her too, the salmon over there. Oh, anything made out of plastic has a possibility to last as long that we can we'll, find it. We'll see that we have a tsunami and it wipes out somebody's... Yeah, there you go. Anyway. <laughs> it could be. We'll hope that was the case when they've been tossed in the field. Anything that makes it into a river has the potential to make it to the ocean, so if it somehow fell off of something, we're oh, supposed man. to go to the dump and then actually fell into the river or okay. waterway. So how often do you guys go to the beach to like look for trash? Or do people bring it to you? Um, to us. Um, we do have uh, some rangers and different connections up the coast that we stay in contact with that collect really big pool debris that we um, go off and pick up. But the biggest time we get um, debris is during the spring and fall beach cleanup, the solve. Yeah. solve like statewide ones. Yeah, I was looking on Bandon's website and saw that it looks like it's fairly regular, the beach cleanups. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have about 70 pieces right now. So if they're not here, they're traveling. We know how much storage is on the road. Where do they travel to? We have two venues in Florida. We're in Sarasota and West Palm Beach. And then we have one in Chicago at the Shed Aquarium. Oh, okay. And yeah, so that's really fun. We're so this is where it started? Mm -hmm. Oh my yeah, gosh, that's cool. Yeah, switch around. So they, um, in about two months, the two venues in Florida will switch up. And we'll go to St. Paul and we go to... Sorry. Oh, we're going to shed with another installation. So um, the shed aquarium one was a year-long contract, and so then we go with more pieces every four months. Cool.